So guys, I'm going to show you how to connect your Android, Apple, or Windows devices to your TV, whether it's wired or wireless. These are the easiest possible ways. All right, so I'm going to show you how to connect your either your iPhone, your Android phone directly to your TV using the wire connection method. Now, if you have an Android phone and it's 4.2 software or later, then this will work fine. Make sure your phone supports MHL. So this is an MHL to HDMI cable. These are they go for about under ten dollars. I'll leave a link in the video description below. Only thing you have to do is connect the micro USB to the micro USB port on your phone just like that real easy and then the other side is the HDMI to plug into your TV and the USB to power it it's gonna charge your phone at the same time and the HDMI runs audio and video to your TV however on an iPhone it's slightly different you're gonna be using a lightning cable to HDMI It's exactly the same concept except for you plug in the lightning cable to your iPhone 5 or later and make sure you have the latest software. On iPhone 4 they use the older cable adapter and that doesn't work as well. So the only thing we do is once we have the phone connected right here, we plug in the HDMI, we got it plugged into HDMI 3 and plug it to a USB port on my TV. If you don't have a USB port on your TV, you can just plug in a USB uh, charging adapter and plug it into a wall. Alright, so now that we have it connected, sometimes you may have to unplug the HDMI and USB cable on the side to reset it. And you, of course you want to make sure you're on the right input, HDMI input 3. But as you can see, there's very little audio video delay and you can pretty much go on any app you want, which is cool, and you can unplug it, plug it back in, and it just works automatically, real quick. Simple, no messing around with settings or anything like that, and it gets into every app, and it'll basically display whatever you're, how you're holding it. But let's say you wanna connect your iPhone or your Android device, or even your Windows devices to your TV wireless. Well, you have to check out the Mili S3. It supports any TV with HDMI Type A, Android devices 4.2 or later, iOS 6 or later, or Windows XP, Vista 7 and 8 and later. All right, so now if you want to connect your Android phone or your iPhone or Windows PC to your Mili S3 device, it's easy to do. Just plug in you know, your Melee device to your HDMI port, HDMI 1, 2, or 3 will work fine. The antenna has an extended antenna, so you should have great range. And make sure you plug into a USB port on your TV. If you don't have a USB port on your TV, you can use a USB charging adapter. And plug into the USB and it should turn on automatically next you want to turn on your Wi-Fi and you want to go into your Wi-Fi settings and connect to MeleeCast right here now if you don't have the password the password for the MeleeCast is right on the screen as soon as you plug it in the ID for the melee, it will come up and the password to access the melee device. And once you're connected, your phone should be connecting and communicating with your melee device. And you'll have a blue icon up here. And it says we are connected right here, which is good. Next, you want to download EasyCast app. There's a couple of them. This one works good. It has about a million downloads so far. And choose the top one. It says you're connected. Now, if you want to change your settings, you can go click on settings right here, and this is how you control your Melee adapter on your phone. This is your navigation pad. 
So you can change the resolution. Right now my resolution is set for 720p. I'm gonna leave it at that, that's default settings. So the phone communicates with the adapter and the adapter communicates with the router. That's how it works. And let's go ahead and click on, let's click on music and play. Just like that. And let's go back, let's click on video. Click on this and see if the video works. All right, so that works good. Let's hit back and back. And let's click on Easy Mirror. And hit on. Let's go to Settings. And Connect Connections. And choose Screen Mirroring. And then you want to choose melee. Right here. And it looks like it's working. Hit the home button. There's a one or two second delay. It looks like a one second delay compared to the HDMI cable when I use it directly connected to the TV. There's less lag. But this is definitely more convenient having it wireless and let's select the game now there is a one second lag so I don't know if I would really use this for gaming I would use the hardwire connection for gaming and then I would probably use this for uh, playing music and video. Now if you want to disconnect it, you click on it and click on disconnect. And now you're disconnected from it. So if you guys are interested in any of these products, click on the link in the video description below. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. And share this video to anyone this video may help. And subscribe to Tampa Tech for more how-to videos like this one.